guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and for today's video, I want to talk about a problem that I see a lot in the pet rat communities that I'm part of online, and that is people getting their advice on caring for rats from pet stores. So there's many reasons that this isn't a good idea, both for rats and other pets. Uh, and I kind of want to talk about that here because I do think that a lot of people do have this idea that pet stores are places for pet advice, when unfortunately that is not really the case. And I know there's going to be a few people who have had good experiences at pet stores with getting up-to-date advice and meeting people who just generally know a lot about the pet they're asking about, but this often isn't going to be the case, and you don't want to be betting on a pet store having up-to-date advice on rats before you get them. Uh, you should be doing your own research first, and that's something that typically you can do by, you know, reading up on it in rat care books, or even better, just going online and looking at different up-to-date sources and seeing what they say rat care-wise. Uh, you can also join rat care forums, or you can join rat groups on Facebook. Basically, anything where you're interacting with pet owners where they are currently keeping rats is going to be a good place to find some of the up-to-date care advice. So with that being said, there's kind of two main reasons that you don't want to get your rat care advice or really, again, pet care advice in general at pet stores. And the first one is that pet stores are out there to make a profit. And of course, this is not a bad thing. All businesses need to make a profit in order to survive. However, with that being said, pet stores tend to put their profit above their animals' care and above the items they sell. So it's not uncommon for pet stores to give out not only inappropriate animal care advice, but to also sell unsafe and unsuitable items for these animals as well. A great example of this is exercise balls, also known as hamster balls. And these things are unsuitable for any pet out there. No matter how small your pet is, an exercise ball is not suitable for them. And even though this has been known for many years now, because people are still willing to buy them, pet stores still sell loads of these things because they make a profit. Another great example is the Critter Trail hamster cages. And I'm saying hamsters in quotes because those cages are not suitable for hamsters at all. They are not suitable for any animal, including mice. Just the fact that no animal can live full-time ethically in a critter trail cage shows you that any pet store that continues to sell these is doing it simply for the profit. They don't have any care about the animal, and in fact, many of these pet stores will even recommend buying these cages when you have like hamsters, or mice, or even gerbils, or rats, and it's just crazy because these cages are way too small. Anyways, it was getting a little heated there, but what I'm trying to say is that a pet store is going to put profit first, in most cases, and because of that, you can't trust their advice because they're trying to sell you things, and so they're going to show you whatever they think you're going to buy. Now, other than pet stores putting profit above their animal care, the other reason you don't want to be going to pet stores for advice is because they're not hiring people based on their animal knowledge. The person checking you out has not been hired because they know everything about all the animals in the store. They were hired to work the register. And this is not any shade on anyone working at a pet store. I think most people working at pet stores do have a lot of passion about animal care, which is why they're working there in the first place. But the fact is that they're not being hired most of the time for their animal knowledge. And because of that, if you ask an employee at a pet store what you need for a certain pet, there's a good chance that they either won't know or that the advice they give you won't be up to date. You know, it's just not fair to expect them to have up to date care on rats or really any of the pets in the area unless they are specifically hired for that knowledge which in most cases, if you're talking to someone at like a register, they're probably not hired for their knowledge on like rats or other pets in that store. And that's not to say that they can't have up-to-date knowledge because they absolutely can, but you just don't know for sure. And so this is really why you need to do your own research first so that you know what you need going in. And if you talk to anyone else and get good care tips from them, then that's all good, but you wanna have a way to check and make sure that that care is good advice. So yeah, those are the main two reasons I tell people to avoid getting their care advice from pet stores in particular. Again, there are some good eggs out there. Some pet stores do give really good advice. I have a pet store in my area that gives quite good advice. They even sell really nice sized cages. They sell good food. They sell good toys, appropriate sized wheels. There's just lots of great stuff there. But the thing is, a lot of places aren't like this. And especially if you're going to a commercial chain store, like again, PetSmart, then you're likely going to be getting less than ideal care advice because these places just don't have up-to-date care. 
So anyways, this video was kind of a rant, but hopefully it helps someone out there who was thinking about getting rats and maybe was thinking of getting advice from a pet store. Uh, it's just not really the best place to get your advice. There's so many other good places. And like I said, joining rat forums and rat Facebook pages and so forth, it's a really good way to get up-to-date advice just because you're interacting with other current rat owners who are very passionate about their rats. And so they're more likely to give you more knowledgeable and up-to-date care advice. Anyways, that's all I have to say for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and well, I guess I'm curious. Have any of you had any sort of pet store experiences with rats where you got either accurate information or inaccurate information from them? And other than that, I hope you guys have a great day and I hope to see you next time. Bye.